Hello again and welcome. It's Tuesday which means it must be time for another video. Now I'm going to try something fancy now. Today, where's my finger? Wow this thing's rubbish there. Today, hopefully something popped up on the screen there. And what am I presenting? And why am I presenting the Atari ST? Because I did a Twitter poll and I received a whole wrong way, that side. Oh, this filter thing's crap. Oh, look, my belly's gone. Anyway, on Twitter, I've got that many votes. So this is why we're doing Atari ST. Now, I've got a funny feeling that this Motorhead t-shirt, um, it's another one, yes, another Motorhead t-shirt, is going to cause problems with this crappy chroma key filter because I don't have a green screen but I'm going to bash on anyway we're going to play some Atari ST games well I'm going to play some Atari ST games and you'll watch me play them badly or there'll be bad games that I'll play uh, anyway I hope you enjoy the video and let's get things rolling right now with the intro Okay, so the first game I'm going to play is Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. It was actually supposed to be the third game, but uh, the first two games I were going to play decided uh, they were just going to keep crashing, so I'll move straight on to game number three. I'm going to have to replace the first two games with uh, something completely random. Let's make sure my microphone's uh, close enough. Right, so Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker, I've not played this game in years. Right, so the word is, I tried this already, the word is BUM. So, start a one player game. Start a one player game. Turn the table. Ah, right, okay. I need to press the right mouse button. Play against. I see difficulty one. Steve. I changed the difficulty to one then. Oh no, this one. No. Okay. All right, so it's not me that's breaking. I think I've got the difficulty set to the hardest, so. I'll probably lose. That's quite a good break actually. I used to play snooker quite a lot but I actually miss it, uh, I miss it these days. Right now how do I... Uh, no I don't want to take a shot. Um, Three cue ball, there we go. And rotate. So I need to hit a red. I can't get through to that red. So I need to hit that one. Where's my line? That's always handy. I don't want to hit it too hard because I don't want to leave him a shot. So we want maybe medium power. Always shot your cue and take shot. I should just roll off the. Oh no, it's broken them open a little bit. <coughs> Not left him on anything go, thankfully. And he's came off the knuckle of the pocket. Right, can I see that red there? Can I cut that in? Oh, it's a risky one. What I might do is I might just roll the cue ball up into the pack here, but it's not in the shot power. I'm going to go for a sneaky cut. This one. No, I'm not going to get that. Right, what I want to do is I want to just roll the cue ball into the pack. Now, because it's up against the cushion, I can't put any backspin on it. Which is going to make 
it short a little bit more difficult let's go a little lower and let's take the shot <coughs> That's okay. There's no chance of him putting anything from there, that's for sure. He's just going to whack them, isn't he? Yep. Oh, he got a pot! The jammy bastard. I don't believe that. <sighs> he got a pot. How dare. For the black? Or is that the blue? No, it's black. Very blue looking black. Okay. Let's have a look. Is there anything I can go for? No, nope, no, nope, nothing there. Oh, hold on, hold on. I might have a chance of a pot here. A little bit of side spin. A little bit more power. And go for it. Nope, miles off. Miles off. The one little thing I remember about this uh, snooker game is what happens if you just don't take your shot. You should see little eyeballs in the black areas of the game and sometimes you get flies around the queue so I'm, once he's taking his shot I'm not going to do, do my, my shot. Oh, he's getting a break now. Could be game over. Another pot. Hopefully the game audio is not too loud. I don't even know if there is any game audio at all. Hmm. Right, so it's my shot. So I'm going to do nothing. There's the flies. Now, I'm not sure if it's this or the pool where you see the eyes in the black bit. I really can't remember. Oh, there, uh, there it is. It's on the ball. <laughs> Cheeky. Alright. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the audio. I'm, I'm going to uh, stop recording and just check the audio. It doesn't look like there's any audio for the game at all. Okay, after a quick check, the all the audio is okay. So back to the game of snooker. Oh, I've got a chance of a shot here. Chance of a pot even. That might hit the knuckle. I'll give it a go. Oops, I was about to do backspin. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm out of focus as well. This is usually how you fix focus. Maybe I'm not out of focus, maybe I'm just generally, generally blurry. <coughs> right, so maybe it is on easy then. Maybe <coughs> person one did put it on easy. Apologies for my, I'm a bit throaty. Um, Back of my throat's on a uh, very dry. The only problem with this is you can only get so much on it. Lots of power. Hooray! Finally got a pot. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Oh, not jump or go. Right, I need to cut. Oh, God color. So I can't see both sides of the blue. I'm just going to have to play it safe on the green. Let's get a bit of welly. Go for it. Oops. Oh, you had to do that. It's only me. I nearly potted it. So there was a sequel to this, uh, Archer McLean's Pool, which is also a very good game, but it was obviously based on Pool. 
and this is snooker and it can, it can take some time just to play one game but that's normal for snooker but it's a good game and um, the Amiga version looks exactly the same I th think there was a console version released too there are 99 points left on the table nobody needs snookers thanks for, th thanks for that thanks for that info Has he flicked it? Oh no, he's going to. He's, oh, he's got lucky. I don't think he's left it. Is there any other reds I can go for? If not, I'll go for that one. Yeah, I think I'll go for that one. Alright, so let's see. Get my key line up. Maybe touch, a le touch to the left and a little bit of left hand side. A bit more power. Chalk this baby up and let's go for a shot. <coughs> that was me doing the applause, by the way. I've scored two so far. To Tom's 15. Yikes. Um, just like real snooker, I was never any good at brake building. One of the hardest things to do in snooker is a decent break. Right, I'm just going to go for broke here. A top spin. See how I can f get this green in. Oops. I want it colour, Steve. And off we go. Miles off. And I've potted the cue ball. Which means Tom gets four points. <sighs> Don't. Yeah, I didn't think he would make me play again somehow. Where's the trying to go for this one? Oh, in the middle bag. Interesting choice of shot. And look, he's left himself the blue. Bop. Okay, I'm just going to sit back and watch him play. Uh, did he, did, uh, oh and he's missed haha <laughs> as soon as I get comfy he misses I've seen it coming ok I'm 24 points behind I really need to step up my game now let's see now um, back right spin just make sure I chop my cue properly you know I'm worse than a miss Q. Okay, what colour can I go for then? Black's off position. Can't get through to the yellow. Brown's off position. Oh, God. Um, right, let's go for the green. Why did I do that? Oh, that's on. Oh, nominate colour and go for it. Off by an absolute country mile. Not a chance I was potting that at all. Terrible. Come on, Tom, show me how it's done. He's not potting anything off of here, is he? Nope. He's not leaving me much either. Right, I should be able to pot this one, I would think. Oh, that way, dumbass. No. Yeah. A bit more power. More power! Oh, what? Jeez, oh. I thought it was better than this. Hmm. Right, if I don't get a big break sooner then I'm going to move on to the next game. I don't know what the next game is now because some of them have decided not to work. Even though they worked before I started recording 
I decided now that they're not working and they just keep crashing on me Yay, you potted one. Right, what next? Let's see, what have we got? Oh, I could get the black. Okay, now that's exciting. I could pot the black. No, a wee bit of back spin. And a little bit more power. I'm going to colour first. This is worth seven. Jaws. I'm going to win now. The cue ball going, that's it. Right, so I need a red next. Oh, this is the only red available. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut that in. I don't think I can cut that one in, and I can't get that one. Right, we'll have to go with this one and try see if I can cut it in. How about a back spin? This is not going in. Just missed. Just missed. Over at you, Tom. So, if you want to play this game on other systems, um, it was definitely released for the Amiga. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a Mega Drive port. I could be wrong. Um, you can correct me on that in the comments below if I am wrong. Also, um, I will be doing another Twitter poll uh, to see what system I play next. Hopefully, I'll get more than two votes this time. I kind of left it last minute to do the Twitter poll, to be honest. Um, I put it up on Sunday, and I got, as you saw at the start of the video, it got a fantastic whole two votes. And I'll probably have a choice of maybe three systems this time. Wow, Tom's uh, getting a big break going here. That's four balls he's put. No, he's got 12. A break of 12. That's not really a big break then, Steve, is it? Mahango. Oh, I need to get a green screen again. Or go back in a box, like I used to. I might just go back in a box. don't know. Was it me? It was me. Right, what are we on? Oh, we're on the yellow. Why oh, he's potted all the reds? Cheeky bugger. Too much. Just want a little bit. A lot of power and go for it. hell kind of shot was that apart from a crap one Steve <sighs> well I haven't played this game for years so you know be nice Ooh, I think I will finish this frame off now um, unless it takes another five minutes we'll finish off this frame and move on to the next game go for it. I thought it was in there. I thought it was in. No I didn't. I didn't really. I did not think it was in. Okay Tom come on then clear the table. So we get this in the middle bag. Yep there goes the yellow. Greeny might get into the top corner um, unless he's going for a cut into the middle pocket. He's going for a cut. Uh, Brown is up next. Such a well made game this. What the hell is he doing? That was a strange shot to take. He must have been snookered and now I'm snookered. Oh lovely. Fantastic. Thank you Tom. Bastard. Right let's go for it. Missed it. I missed it. I missed the Brun. Bugger. Shite. Let's continue with the shot. 
Thought he would have made me play again. Oh, is he going to flick that brown in or is it slowing down? I don't think I can win the game now, by the way. Not enough points left on the table. Give it another welly, go for it. Wallop. Oh, that went in the knuckles. That rattled off the knuckles of the pocket I thought was going in. It did not go in. My beer's quite like Yeah. Oh, there we go. 37 points behind. 23 on the table. That's not right. 18 on the table. 13 on the table. Game over, man. 13 points. At least 6 snookers. Oh, is that all? No bother at all. We can do that. I wonder if I can concede. I concede. I can't concede, but Tom's won anyway, so that's going to do it for Jimmy White's uh, whirlwind snooker. Um, let's move on to the next game, which I'm not sure is. Okay, so this is hopefully the next working game. It did crash a minute ago, but it's working now. This is, uh, as you can see on the screen, Lethal Excess. It's a shoot 'em up, also known as Wings of Death 2. Oh, I'll just start the bloody thing though. Um, hello. Come on, or do I have to wait for this pish to, to car carry on? <sighs> hello. Oh. God, insert this B. How the hell do you do that now? Um, like that. Okay, that actually worked. Right, difficulty easy. Sound mode music plus. Got music plus. And start game. working please don't ask me to put in disc one press button okay oh I thought it went the other way first impressions looks very much like a bog standard shooter you would get on the Amiga the graphics are nice Ah, that's a nice speech. Oh, did I die? Okay, so holding down button doesn't give me good fire, it just gives me single fire. Graphically, yes, it's good. Music wise, it's not bad. Um, I honestly thought it was a shooter going another way. I can never remember if this is higher horizontal or vertical. And the fact that the fire button is an awkward like button at the side instead of your like main button, it kind of makes my thumb feel a bit weird. I'll try using a different finger. And it helps if I press the correct button. Wait, does that mean I've got a second button? No, it doesn't. So that didn't work. Changing my finger didn't work because I was pressing the wrong button entirely. Okay. That was rubbish. Got another go. So I would have been 21 when this came out. Press button. So what was the point of the first disc then? 
I've never understood that with so many games that you put in disc one, then it loads your like start screen and then it says insert disc two. Why not just put that on the first disc? So I'm making them set on our disc to actually play the game. I've never understood start screens, you know. Why does video games have screens that say press start and then it goes into your options? Or ones that say press start then it loads something and you have to start the game again. Just get rid of the press start screen. That's what you get on video games all the time now. I could understand it back in the days of arcade. Because you'd have to insert your coins first and then press start. Ooh, drone. I'm doing better this time. It's laughing at me. I didn't die. I don't like these enemies, they take up quite a lot of the screen. I like this game actually. Don't like these big insects though. I'm not a fan of insects, but being at the awkward side button for fire, it's actually hurting my thumb a little bit. Oh, game over again. Because I'm, I'm having to use my red button here instead of that one, and it's just a little bit more awkward. I'm complaining over nothing, I, don't, I know. I don't think you can uh, choose which button in the settings either. Right, we'll give this uh, another game or two because, uh, well, I've only been playing it, what, five minutes? Five minutes is not enough, sir! We need to get further in the game. Triangle! I'm slightly disappointed in some of the games I wanted to play because um, I had planned on playing a couple of games that I'd never would consider playing before. Uh, I think I should maybe just try and losing them outside of uh, game base. See if I can get them to work that way. And one of the games I was wanting to play, LED Storm, it keeps asking for a disc B and there's no disc B in the zip files I've downloaded. Three, ver three versions of it and none of them have a disc B so I can't understand why it's asking for a disc B, I really can't. Pew pew! Oh that takes your weapon off, yeah! The little skulls. Oh fudge. Okay, well, I've had enough of that game already because it's hurt my thumb. That was a uh, Lethal Excess, and uh, we'll move on to the next game. Right. Okay, so this is the next game. This is a game that I couldn't get working before th via game base, but I managed to get it working using the the emulator itself. And when the little yellow thing at the top appears, it means it's loading. I think. I have no idea. How do I move with this thing? Is it loading? Is it f is it crash? I have no idea. Um. Oh, there we go. It was loading. Just a bit slow. Right. So. Now I don't normally play games like this at all. So. Probably won't be on it for long. What is that? The blue thing on the ground. It wouldn't let me do anything with it. Oh, well that's a hook on the wall. How do you interact with things, I wonder? Nope, 
Okay. Am I just going back the way I came now? I have no idea. Hall of Champions. A blue thing on the wall again. Oh, who's that? Oh! Oh, I've resurrected them. How would I do that? Where is he then? Do I get to see him? No. What was that? Is that me walking out a wall? Okay, now I've got two. That's me walking out a wall. Oh, pillock. Okay, now I've got Boris as well. Interesting, interesting. We'll go deeper up. Who is this? Chani. Chani or Cheney, I don't know. Um, right, that's the wall. Let's go this way. Wall again. What have we got here? Right, okay, I can't click on it because I think I've got too many people already. I really don't know. Graphic wise, it's a bit uh, same here, you know, it's just always bricks. I can't do anything with that one because I've got a full component, I, I do believe. Ow! Who's putting these bloody walls there? What are you walk into? Okay, well it's not very exciting. It's not um, gripping me with the excitement. That's for sure. There's, I haven't found anything while walking around these dungeons yet either. Apart from pictures on the wall. That's it. What does that say? Hold oh, back there again. So I'm going around in circles then, basically. It's a blue thing. I need to go back out again, I don't know. I really have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so I think I'll leave that one there. Um, yeah, I didn't think I would be able to get into that one because it's not the style of games I enjoy. But I gave it a try and that's the most important thing. Right, moving on to a game that most people will know. Um, it was released on the Commodore 64, the Amiga. The Atari ST, I'm not sure if there was a Spectrum release and I think there were some limited console releases of this game. Stunt Car Racer, a Jeff Crammon classic. I might have actually accidentally um, broke my record in there but uh, I should fix it, I noticed it quickly enough. And uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we want single player league. I managed to get the control set up so the fire button is the, the button I like. My name is Steve. So you start off in Division 4 with two tracks. And then we'll just go straight into start the racing season. Jumping Jack versus Steve. And there's the track. And you can rotate it. And we'll just get into the game. So it looks like every other version of Stunt Car Race, they all look exactly the same. And off we go. So that's your opponent there. You can press fire to boost your speed a little bit if you want. You only get a limited amount so make it count and then you have to get a around the corners without going off the edges because we all know what happens if you go off the edges. Now you don't want to go too fast over here because if you take off 
then you're going to crash land. Like that? Uh, that's not too bad then, I'm going to hit the track again. Sometimes you can go right over the edge. Got a bit of a crack showing there. I used to play this a lot when I had uh, an Amiga 600. Um, not that I was ever any good at it. I've got past them! Now I need to try and stay ahead of them. Don't go too fast over this bump though, you want to try and stay on the track. Or like that, there we go. Whee! And the numbers in the bottom left hand corner, if there's a minus it means that you're in front. So that's how you want to keep it. I'm getting further ahead of him now. Can't remember how many laps there is either. Still got another lap to go yet, I think. Another one or two. I'm 300 plus in, in front of him now, which is pretty good. Okay, not too fast over here. That crack at the top of my uh, car is getting a bit long though. I've got to be careful of that. You don't want big holes in there either. Because the more damage, of course, you're going to end up damaging your car completely. Well, that was close. Whee! Of course, Jeff Crammond also made the brilliant um, Indianapolis 500, which I always played just for the crashes. And I won the race. And he also made uh, Jeff Crammond's Formula 1 Grand Prix, which is probably one of the best ones ever made, too. By one! My first race and I won! Hooray for me! So on to the next race then. Two points, a total of three points there. Oh, he's raced three times. Oh, I see. Jumping Jack again. But a different track this time. This is the humpback. This one, if you go flying over that humpback, then you're going to end up with uh, really bad damage to your car. This one's definitely a bit trickier than the, the last one we just did. A little boost start didn't help. You always, they always go in front of you, I don't know if you've noticed that. No matter how fast you take off, they always get the lead. Crack, crack. And I'm in the lead. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, he's in the lead again. Oh, I'm just in front. Oh, he just hit me. The problem is you don't have rear. Yeah, no. You don't have rear view mirrors is what I was about to say. And this is where they got a good lead. The new crash. It just it takes a little bit too long for you to get put back on the track. Giving your opponent a really big lead. Now he's got to over 600 of a lead on me. I know. Saved it there. But I'm going to have to boost it. Try and catch up on him unless he crashes. There he is, way in front. Gotta go for it. That noise is kind of high pitch, isn't it? Oh, there he is. 
I managed to catch up quite a bit, which is good. Ah, I'm off the track again. Same place as last time. After just catching up on him as well. Alright, I think I've lost this race. Or 700 ahead. Just gonna go for it. Ah, oh, that's not hurting my ears at all. Oh, poo. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Yeah, I've lost this race. By a country mile. Ah, ah, no way! Death again. Put a puff of smoke. I'm surprised he's not finished yet, actually. Or maybe he has, and it's just not telling me. Here we go, race lost. No kidding! Oh, right, one more race, I think. Why is there women in bikinis there? Terrible. I've got a new track record. Don't get any points for it, though. Okay, so it's the little ramp again. It's me versus Roadhog. Wait, is this a different track? Huh? Was this the same as the first track? I forgot. Go, 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 go. Let me go then. Let me go. See if I can get ahead of this old guy early. Without crashing off the corner though. I'm a bit faster around the corner there, Steve. I'm ready to take off at this ramp. Wee. Whoa, Oof, that was close. I have to say the game physics are really good as well for your car bouncing about and managing to stay on track and stuff. The only thing that I've never liked about the game is how long it takes you to get put back on the track. Sometimes there's no chance of you catching up with your opponent. But that's about it really. The rest of it's a solid game. Really well made. We I'm uh, not a big fan of that sound though, that's, a bit, that's another, another thing I didn't like, is that noise. But most games back in the early days, all the engines sounded the same. Whiny or growly, or both. In this game's case it was a bit of both. I'm miles ahead in this one. Here we go. Be careful now over here. Don't want to crash. I'm definitely going to win, you know. Shouldn't say that because I could probably crash now. Just made it over the ramp. Wee. Around we go. And win! Hooray! Two out of three is not bad. That was alright. Happy with that. Another win. What does that mean for the standings? No idea how many times you're supposed to race. 
Our race six of six. Oh, one more race. Let's do it. Let's do this one more race. See if I can get promoted up to division three. Has that really been six races? I don't think it has. Not six races for me. Get out of my way! Hit him quite a few times there. Thankfully it didn't do any major damage. In fact, in all the races I've run, I, didn't, I haven't had a single hole in my, um, what are they called? Roll cages, that's it. It's called a roll cage, isn't it? No point in boosting when you're in the air, Steve. That's just pointless waste of flames. Ooh! Need to boost it when I'm going straight away. So I can get away. Let's slow down this though. Wee! I'm not even touching it. vacuum cleaner. Over the big hump. Forget about that little ramp there. One lap left. I've got a really good lead. But that can be lost just as quickly as it can be gained. Over the hump. Ah. Oh, that was close. Wee. Corners to negotiate, I think. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, right, hurry up, get me back on the track. I can't lose it with one la one corner left. It's not, uh, come on, let's catch up for me fast. Whoa, that was close. That was dangerously close. Dangerously close there, but I still won. Hooray! Did I do enough to qualify for Division 3 though? First, promotion for Steve! I've never seen that screen before. Hooray! Didn't I do well? Well, there we go, that stunk our racer. And that was uh, whatever game number that was, and we'll move on. I'm definitely out of focus. Right, let's move on to the next game. Right, so this is the next game. This is Time Bandit. Um, no idea what it's like at all. Um, I just picked it at random. Um, I think it's a sort of shooter. Press F1 or F2 to change controls, press 1 or 2 to start the adventure. I'm pressing 1. Press any key to continue. There we go. Um, press any key to continue. Okay, don't tell me it's, this one's not working either. Oh, there we go. Not interested in that. I want to start. Press 1 or 2 to start the adventure.
one ah one on the numpad okay so I don't know if it's loading or if I'm playing on picking keyboard or what um is it loading I've no idea I'll give it a minute I can't move them the mouse doesn't do anything the time gates I think that it's not worked yay I think I'm going to have to pick another game at random I'm just going to leave the recording running this time I'm going to stay in T and I'm going to pick uh, Thunderblade let's see if that works Thunderblades are on the loose no that's Thundercat Steve you div Thunder Steve is on the loose Yikes, I'm loose. Like if I put my head in there, look, part of my head disappears, it's so white. Oh, now you can see it. Oh, you can see it because I've had a haircut. Copy this disc, double sided 80 tracks, 10 sectors done by Genesis. Okay, press fire to start. I didn't even press fire, and it say wooden. So that's another thing I don't get. It press start screens and then you press start and you have to load more of the game see now I've pressed start and it's loading the game ah why just go straight to the fucking game Pepsi I don't remember Thunderblade ever being sponsored by Pepsi but hey it's the choice of a new generation I can't remember how to play this at all and it also seems to be extraordinarily hard right so that makes my helicopter go up and down how do I move forward I'm unable to move forward so I don't know how, how to control my speed. Right, well they all do the same thing, well. How do I speed up? How does one speed up in this game? Can't move unless you speed up. It must be a keyboard button, surely. Oh well, that's that one sacked. I don't know what the controls are. Bye bye. Right, one more random game. Oh dear, let's pick a letter. I'm going to pick the letter N. And I'm going to pick... Oh, not an arcade game. Too many of them. This one. Let's try this one. What is it as my head disappears? Look, part of my head has been eaten. No! There you go, Nebulous. Mega kiss to Kareen. Whoever Kareen is. Oh, I remember this. It's a very cute game. Right, so what's the point of having a shoot button then if you can't uh, shoot anything? Really? That's not fair. Right, so all my buttons shoot. Right, okay. How are you supposed to avoid that?
Not impressed. Now. Actually got somewhere, yay! Oh, you little bastard! I was just getting there. Wow, this is difficult, isn't it? You got to be quick. A little too quick there. Right, okay, that was a uh, nebulous. <laughs> I have no patience for games like that. Right, one more game. Um. Hmm, right, not an N then. Oh wait, here we go. Try this one. Let's give this one a try and this will be the last game of the video. Um, short, as, short as usual video. I like to keep my videos short, you know, so you, if you've got a short term of, term of a uh, short attention span even, then a one hour video should be just enough for you. So we're going to give this one a try and then uh, I'll be saying thanks for watching and uh, goodbye and all that. I'll see you in the next video. I will be putting up a post on Twitter so if you're not following me on Twitter and you want to vote in the poll there will be a link to my Twitter down below. Very single circuit. Very single circuit. Um, where is it Italy? Nice fast circuit, well it usually is. Monza. This circuit. Okay, something driving. Wow, the opponent cars are huge. Sorry, but they're bigger than me. You're supposed to be able to get past them. Oh, come on. Now, the opponent cars are way too wide. Probably sold millions of copies as well. Or more than four. Fuck off! <laughs> well, I'm disappointed that the games that I wanted to play refused to not work. And the game that I managed to work turned out to be, um, well, quite dull for me anyway. But I'm sure other folk find it interesting. Um, this game is not very good. I have managed to finish a lap though, amazingly. And I'm in 7th, amazingly. It's in the size of the opponent cars. Oh, I must be going full speed, listen to my engine. Oh, bugger. Well, I'm up to 5th. How did that happen? Amazing. It doesn't seem like your car can crash either. I've gone off the road, I've hit signs and it just drives through them. It just slows me down. See, just done it there again. That's not very realistic, is it? I can't remember who made this game. It looks very similar to the F1 that was released by Domark on the Sega Mega Drive. Was this released by Domark? I have no idea. I need to pit. I'm doing, oh no, I've pitted in by, by mistake. I'm fourth and it's got dark all Fifth again, oh. It's got dark all of a sudden. It's going to rain. Okay, why can't I crash? I'm actually trying to crash now. 
and it just seems to be impossible. Look, I just went through a sign, and I did not crash. The illusion of F1 has been destroyed now, absolutely destroyed. Still going to finish the race, though. Where am I? Well, I'm, I guess I'm going to guess I'm that white dot. Can I finish in the top three? Can I get a podium place? There's a car ahead of me, but I think he's too far ahead of me. No. Fourth place. Not bad, I suppose. Martin Brundle won the race. I'm right. Right, so who made this game then? Say. It doesn't say, well, never mind. I'm going to leave that music playing while I uh, talk over the end of the video here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, foray into Atari ST games. As I will be planning to do with the Amstrad, I do plan on going back to some Atari ST games in the future, but I don't want to do them all at once. And as I said, there will be a Twitter poll for the next video and I will start the Twitter poll probably just not long after this video has been uploaded to YouTube and this time there will be three systems to choose from and not just two. But I do hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again very soon. Until then, take care, bye bye, stay safe.